Hey everybody, welcome to my Lighthouse movie review. I saw this movie recently in a special showing, and if I had to describe this movie in one word, that word would be odd. I think um, this movie starts Robert Pattinson and, uh, oh my good William Defoe. Uh, um, there's maybe like two other actors in the movie, it's not a whole lot of actors. Movie's shot in black and white in a square format. Not your typical, I think, what is it, 3 to 5 ratio format. Um, interesting choice. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this movie might get a nomination for Best Cinematography, but I don't think it deserves to win, really. This uh, is more of a psychological uh, thriller, in a way. Two uh, lighthouse keepers on a small little island off the coast of New England trapped by a storm slowly start to lose their sanity um, that's the gist of the whole movie um, the ending was very odd I was getting um, you know tones of what's that weird director that does movies like Mulholland Drive I and I think Eraserhead I hate that director um, to me that's like trying to do modern art film um, it's equivalent of pooing on a canvas and calling it art and saying you're being innovative and creative. It wasn't as blatant as those movies um, that I said. But you start to question uh, how much of it is really the guy going insane, how much is being fabricated. I think all of it. Um, and the ending... Uh, uh, made a lot of it seem not too clear um, it does leave it open-ended but leaving things open-ended doesn't always mean better there seems to be a thing where oh it's open-ended people seem to believe if you talk to talk about a movie a lot after it comes out that therefore it's good and by leaving it open-ended forces people to talk about it and therefore they get tricked into thinking that what they just saw was great the movie is good the performances are good. Um, I have a newfound respect for Robert Pattinson. I only knew him from the Twilight movies previous to this. I heard people say that he's really a great actor, so I it, and that came from people that I respected. So I gave the benefit of the doubt, and um, he was good as, in this. I think he bulked up quite a bit. I'm excited to see him as Batman soon. Um, I don't think he's going to get a no he eh, maybe he'll get a best supporting actor nomination. I think Willem Dafoe will get the nomination. I don't think he's going to win. I don't want him to win not over Joaquin Phoenix. Um, I kind of want to see Willem Dafoe as a pirate now. Um, this is more yeah. This is definitely more of a psychological cerebral art piece. And again, I'd call it odd as my word, and um, I'd give it a seventy. Um, it's not it doesn't have a big wide release i don't know if it's going to later um i enjoyed myself but it um it has it has some humor thrown in there just as kind of a relief for the audience but uh eh, i don't need to ever see it again and uh, not, nothing in there really drew me to any of the characters i couldn't relate to anybody i was just sort of um, a detached spectator watching so did you guys watch it did you like it let me know, like and subscribe, and I will see you later. Okay, bye.